Hi and hello guys. Uh, today in this video, I will show you all as to how you can uh, install or run Android version R or Android version 11 on your Raspberry Pi 4 single board computer. So this ROM is being brought to us by OmniROM developed by Maxven. I will attach the link for this XDA page on the description of this video and you can just go through the details. So this build uh, is a work in progress and obviously you will run into some issues and uh, hopefully uh, the developer will iron out the issues in the upcoming uh, releases. In order to download or get started with the ROM, head over to the second post uh, in the form. There you should find the link for the uh, ROMs, download link for the ROMs. Heading over to the list of downloads, you will find two builds over here. One is micro G uh, build and the second one is the weekly ROM. So the weekly ROM doesn't come with the gaps. Um, so you need to install the uh, Google applications. So as of now, you don't have a stable Android 11 version of gaps that you can install. And also the weekly version of the ROM doesn't come with uh, root access. I tried and tested different methods and uh, it was not possible to install the gaps at all. So I would suggest you guys to go with the micro G build. So click on the build over here and then download the ROM. So once you download the ROM, you can burn the image onto an SD card. Uh, using uh, different softwares like you can use HR, you can use Win32 Disk Imager if you are using a Windows 10 PC or else you can use the Raspberry Pi uh, imaging software. So prior to writing any Raspberry Pi uh, image onto an SD card, I would suggest you to format the SD card. Use a software something like the SD formatter to format the SD card. I will attach the download links for the SD formatter software in the description of this video. From the drive option, select uh, your SD card and then choose format. Then choose OK. And then choose OK. And finally choose OK and then exit. So now the SD card has been formatted. Open the Raspberry Pi Imager software. I would suggest you to use this than uh, either Win32 Disk Imager or the uh, HR software. Choose yes. So in this window, uh, under the first option, click or choose. So click on the choose uh, OS option and then scroll down in the list of options until you reach a section which is use custom. Click on that and then uh, in this window over here, proceed to the uh, download location. Choose the micro G ROM and then choose open. And next, uh, click on the choose SD card option and then select your SD card and finally choose write. So, at the end of this writing process, your SD card should be ready. And uh, subsequently, uh, you can unplug the SD card from your PC or a uh, Mac computer and then plug it onto the Raspberry Pi board and then boot your Pi. Okay. So here we have the Omni logo. A quick tip, uh, see at this point if you just see the back screen and nothing else, it means that uh, the EEP ROM on the Raspberry Pi 4 board uh, is not up to date and uh, you need to update the EEP ROM on your Raspberry Pi 4 board to the latest version to solve this issue. Okay. So I have already published a video on how you can easily update the EEP ROM. I will uh, leave the link for the video in the description of this video. Okay, just make sure to check that out uh, in case if you are stuck with a black screen. So here we have the Pi has booted and have connected to the Wi-Fi as well. You have some basic apps and then you have the uh, Aurora store and then uh, F-Droid using which uh, you can install some applications. So inside the Aurora store, uh, you have some basic apps like Google Meet and uh, you have the Prime Video. So the list is not as comprehensive as your Play Store, but however you can get away with uh, the basic apps that you really need. So as such, uh, YouTube doesn't work on this build as we need the Google Play services. So alternatively, uh, what you can use is you can use the F-Droid and then use uh, the new Pipe uh, legacy uh, app uh, instead of
Okay, so that is how you can actually play YouTube videos uh, instead of directly using the uh, YouTube app. ETA Prime has uh, done a detailed testing and analysis of this build. I will link up uh, his video in the description of this video. You can check uh, that video out as well. Okay, so that is really pretty much it. So that is how you can get the Omni-ROM or Android 11 version R running on your Raspberry Pi 4 board. And that is how uh, you can install applications on this build as well. Okay, so I really hope that you find this video useful and informative. Thanks for watching. Take care and bye-bye.